Hello, my name is Zarida. Thank you for stopping by. To my old subscribers, thank you so much. And if you are new here, would you be kind enough to please click the subscription button like right now? It's completely free. I ain't nothing going to be removed from you. And when you don't, just click the, the bell button beside it so you'll be notified anytime I get to post any video. All right, thank you. So today I'll show you how I've used my first tripod stand ever, like with less than 3,000 error. Okay, my Nigerian money now, and it's very easy, very easy. So come on, go for it. So I'm working with a one and a half inch of PVC pipe. So the, for this tool, it's going to it's measuring 11.5 inch. So and I just added a PVC cap. Those two brown things are called caps. And next, I'm going to pick another one, and I'm going to just in, I inserted elbow. It's called this is called elbow. Like you can see the shape, the shape of an elbow, and it's measuring 10 inch. So now the third one I'm picking is also measuring measuring 11 inches. And I inserted an elbow and a T. Can you see that one has a direct as a shape of a T? For the for this is just normal PVC pipe and it's measuring 20 inches. Now where I got it from, they were kind enough to cut it from you. So if you will be making this, I recommend you just write down the number of inches you want, a number of pieces you want, and then once you just get there, you could just em employ them to cut it for you. But if by any chance they're not kind enough to cut it for you, then all you have to do is just put a knife inside fire and then just cut it. It's easier to cut that way. So I'm going to grab the third last, last PVC pipe and this is measuring 3 inch and I inserted an elbow to it. So all together we have 2 caps, 2 elbows and 2 T's. So once that is done, I'm going to pick the first one which has the cap, that's the 10 inch. And I'm just going to insert the other one, which has the elbow to it. You see, I'm doing it. So, no, the other one I'm inserting is the one that has the elbow, and I'm just going to hammer it down just to keep it secured. The one that has the elbow and the teeth. So, next, I'm also going to insert the one with the elbow and the cap. So, I want this T facing up, so I'm just going to move it up. Yeah, just like that. And next, I'll just insert that into that other hole. So once I'm done, so once I'm done with that, you understand how we achieve this, right? I'm going to pick the 20 inches. That's the long one. Now you can have it longer than this, depending on what you want to make. Now this height was just perfect for my DIY videos. So I had to change the position of the camera so you can see what I was doing properly. Okay, cool, perfect. So that's it. Can you see I'll just am I down just give me the tap in an armor. So next I'm going to pick the three inch that has with the elbow. So can you see can you see the way I'm doing it? Again, I'm just going to am I down. So next I'm picking the last T and for the last T I just drew the hole into the T with the knife. I just put the knife inside the fire and I just drew it inside. It's easy if the knife is hot, I don't mean. And I just got got a screw and inserted it into that as you can see I will show you what the other hole is meant for as we, as we proceed so next I'm just going to wear it into it can you see that and I want it facing a up a up down direction Do you see that so next I'm going to grab um, a phone holder I got it from a selfie stick that I bought one time like that so I'm just going to grab it and I'll put it inside. Now, if you don't have access to a surface stick, don't worry, continue watch, watching. I'm going to show you how to make this without a surface stick. So, I just removed the other parts and I just blessed with this. So, I'm going to put my phone. Can you see? So, that way my phone is facing down, so it covers every coverage I want to do for DIY. This is actually my best tripod, my best DIY tripod stand so far. So, now for the next one, for those who don't have access to the surface stick, this is. I just removed the T. So now I picked the second screw and I'm going to insert it into that opening that we made. Remember? So with that screw, I'll show you how to work with it. So now that's a binder clip, you can get it at the bookstore. And now this is my sticky note. I just took like two pieces, folded it into two, and then folded it again. And I'm going to put it inside my binder clip. So now I'm just going to hold the binder clip with all 
just keep it on my phone just like I did and the reason why I added the paper was to preserve the binder clip from being too ash for the screen of the phone so next I'm going to pick this tease and I just held it down with the screw and I'll just screw it up so it doesn't fall off did you see what I did there now the same thing I just hold it down with the screw and yeah it's perfect so just like we did earlier I'm just going to insert this into my already made DIY traffic style so you can see it's covering a full range you can record anything down now this is majorly for DIYs now how to be for those who want to record um, yourself talking all you have to do is just change the direction of the PVC pipe change direction of the T cap and you're good to go alright guys thank you so much for watching that video if you enjoyed it don't forget to like share and comment I would love to hear from you and you can also connect with me on my social media platform for Facebook Zavida Instagram Zavida and Twitter it's Zavida Gift thank you bye